a couple of weeks ago I gave you guys a quick tip on how to double the focal length of a prime in video and I really didn't get a chance to elaborate on it and one of my viewers out there uh, reminded me of Clearview Zoom so really we should talk about everything video uh, so let's dive into this so the first thing that we should talk about is if you're going to record video what setting should you use now in my case I'm constantly using manual focus lenses so uh, I like to record everything on the highest resolution possible because I never know what I'm going to need it for. And then I downsize it. So in this case, we're using 60p at uh, full HD using the AV CHD codec. And the reason why we're using 60p is because of this motorized head. Now, if we go ahead and pan, and let me just pan really quick at 60p. Uh, you'll see in the video we have nice smooth panning. When do you want to use 24p? Uh, I particularly like to use 24p when uh, the camera is stationary. For instance, the one that you see me on is on a tripod. So therefore, I only need to record at 24p and it kind of gives it more of a cinematic quality. But if I change this camera to 24p, and do panning video. Now keep in mind it's going to look just a little choppy and that's because it's recording and uh, jumping at the same time and you know you can slow that down and try to smooth it out but realistically 60p is definitely the way to go if the camera is in motion. Uh, if the camera is stationary 24p gives you the quality that you want. Okay, so let me go ahead and record that at 24p. That way you can see how it's jumpy. Okay, and then let me go to 60p, record that. This tip is not for everybody. This is for full frame camera users. Uh, primarily the A7R, A7, and A7 II. I can't really elaborate on the A7S because I don't know how APS-C size crop works in A7S. But anyway, uh, just to give you guys an idea, right now we've got a Nikon 24mm AI uh, f2.8 lens set of 5.6. So I'm going to go in and configure this to record at full frame. So it's recording in full frame. Now I've got two different options. Okay, so really quick what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get several different focal lengths using two different options out of one prime. But this only works for video. Don't try doing this with photography because it just it doesn't seem to work. But in video mode, I can make this 24 millimeter lens do things I never thought were possible. This is full frame. And uh, just to show you an idea of what the video looks like, we're back at 60p. And we'll go ahead and do some panning. And by the way, the, uh, the head today is the uh, MP360 motorized pan head and I use that a lot for my videos. But so this is at um, 60p and this is full frame. Okay, now we can cheat and let me show you how we can cheat. So we go into the menu here and then we go into uh, our settings and we go to number three and the zoom setting right here, if you change the zoom setting you have three different versions to use. Clear image is the one you want to use for video and this will make sense here in a second. So we'll go ahead and select that and then from there 
uh, we will go back up and we'll show you this <clears throat> so now I'll record and then from here if I hit my zoom button now we've got a 1x optical zoom that doubles our focal length to uh, 48 millimeter so you can zoom in and now if we actually add this with the panning it makes for a nice effect so we can set up in this corner here just like so and then we will cross pan there we go but we effectively doubled our focal length in video and we can do that by going to here so notice that when we're zoomed in uh, basically this area is where we're at so it's just a little bit more than APS-C size right here and I'll explain this all in a second okay so now let's go to the menu oops sorry we gotta stop recording <clears throat> I keep forgetting the eyepiece is on on this one okay so let's go over the menu here and then we will go to number five under the settings menu and this is where APS-C size capture is and we'll turn this on okay so now we look at it and we're zoomed in okay so from here we can hit record and now we'll go ahead and pan in now the beauty of this is our digital zoom still works so now we're going to look up into the trees here and now we're going to zoom out as we pan down. Actually, let me try that one more time. Get up into the trees. <clears throat> okay, so from here we'll hit our zoom button. And then we can pan out as we're panning. And that brings us back to APS-C size, which is actually pretty nice. And then when we zoom in, it'll double the focal length of APS-C size, which effectively is really pretty tight. And to get that out of this actual setup is pretty good. Now let me explain why this works. And you APS-C size capture off. Visual zoom. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. So right here this is full frame at 24 millimeters so effectively we can zoom and we can go in to here while we're recording and double our focal length to 48 millimeters how cool is that okay now we can go to uh, let's zoom back out here and then from here we'll stop recording and then we'll go in and we'll turn APS-C size capture on and keep in mind how much tighter it is now now we only get part of the building and we'll hit record and then now we're at 36 millimeter for our focal length and now we can go in and double that focal length by zooming in and now we're at 72 millimeters to me that's extremely impressive okay so let me explain to you how this actually works okay so at full frame you're taking a sensor and I'm recording this right now at full frame and we'll do some panning and you're taking a sensor that is uh, effectively uh, 7360 by 4912 those are the dimensions okay so then you downsample that in this case let's zoom in the effective focal length cuts that in half okay so we'll do some panning with this just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like we'll do some zooming out while we pan just to kind of make it a nice effect That's actually very cool. In full frame, that actually seems to work pretty well. 
Okay, so effectively right here we are at uh, 7,360 pixels by 4,912 pixels. That's the full frame resolution of the camera. That's what it's recording at. And then it downsamples that to 1920 by 1080 to give you the matching field of view in video. All right, so now if we zoom in, we're doubling that focal length. And that focal length is now uh, 48 millimeter, which means we're recording at half that resolution, uh, which would be 36 something. And it still has to downsample to get to 1920 by 1080, which is just crazy. Okay, so now if we stop recording there, then we go to menu and go to our settings and go back over to number five and then turn our APS-C size capture on. That APS-C size capture currently right now, let's re-record, at APS-C size capture it's recording at uh, 4800 by 3200 on the A7R, or sorry, on the A7, it would record at 3900 by 2600 roughly, somewhere around in, the, in that neighborhood. So let's go ahead and do some panning and, at this resolution. And this is uh, 4800 by 3200. And now we can go in and add our digital zoom on top of that, clear view zoom. And we'll do this as we're panning. Boom, I kind of like that movement, it's nice. So anyway, what that it does is that allows us to effectively zoom in our focal length on top of that. So our 24 millimeter lens, and this is so hard to keep track of, is now 36 megapixel, or sorry, 36 millimeter. And then when zoomed in, that 36 is doubled to become 72. And so basically what I'm saying is, on APS-C size, this down samples to 4800 by 3200. You cut that in half, you're at 2400 by 1600. The camera still down samples that to 1920 by 1080, allowing you to capture video with the clear view zoom. And it still has to down sample, so that's perfect. But now on the A7, it captures at 3900 by 2600. You cut that in half, and you are at uh, 1950 by uh, 1600, or sorry, 1950 by 1300. It still has to downsample that just a little bit uh, to get it to fit. So very effective. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, click on the ads because that helps me down the road. Otherwise, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.